Boys and girls, say hi to Mark. Hello. <laughs> we have brought six of your students from your school today. Well, actually, five students from Canley Vale High School and one from Karingla High School. Right. And yeah. you're uh, going to be sea lions today. Or well, actually, it's actually leopard seals. Leopard seals. Leopard seals. Yeah, they're mm -hmm. the ones with spots. They're seals with spots, and they mainly eat penguins. They what? They eat penguins. You being rigid you about this? Oh, <laughs> seriously. They, they eat penguins. So I thought I'd write a song about leopard seals because I suppose they've got to eat too, haven't they? Okay. So we'll be penguins and waddle along with us and sing too. Great okay. stuff. Here Everyone's ready to sing at home too. You ready? Okay, here we go. Good stuff, let's go. I like penguins, yes I do. I like penguins. They waddle when they walk, they taste good too. I like penguins. So repeat up to me, sing, yes I do. I like penguins. So do you like penguins? Yes I do. Do you like penguins? Yes true. They waddle when they walk, they taste good too. Yes I, I like penguins. Okay. Gusto is my hero, he went down below to where the penguins grow. Down to the land of the ice and snow, cause he likes penguins. They communicate by sound. <coughs> he drops a rock upon the ground. <coughs> and if she picks it up, it makes the world go around. Oh, I like penguins. I like penguins, yes I do. What? I like penguins. They, yes, they want when they walk, they taste good too. I like so repeat up to me and sing it, yes I do. I like penguins. So do you like penguins? Yes I do. Do you like a penguin? It's true. They waddle when they walk, they taste good too. Yes I, I like penguins. Let's waddle guys. Waddle. <laughs> Dad minds the nest for a couple of weeks. Mum goes fishing so the kids can eat. She gets fat and the kids have a feast. Oh I like penguins. Cheeks are soft and fluffy brown. Standing up with falling down, that's the feathers. But by the time they get their formal gowns, they're miles and penguins. Say, I like penguins, yes I do. What? I like penguins. Uh, yes, they waddle when they walk, they taste good too. I like penguins. I so repeat up to me and sing, yes I do. I like penguins. Come on, do you like penguins? Yes I do. Do you like a penguin? It's true. Waddle when they walk, they taste good too. I like penguins. Chick demands from mum more food than she's got in her tum. All the other dads and mums they pick that penguin. Now in the water, they're quite at home, but get them on the ice and they're alone. Well, just be careful not swallow any penguin bones if you like penguins. Ready? I like penguins, yes I do. What? I like penguins. Hey, yes, they want to and they walk, they taste good too. I like penguins. So repeat up to me and sing Yes, I do. I like penguins. So do you like penguins? Yes, I do. I said, do you like penguins? It's true. They waddle when they walk, they taste good too. I like penguins. I said they waddle when they walk, they taste good too. Again. I like penguins. Ah, yes, they waddle when they walk, they taste good too. I like penguins. Can't hear you. I like penguins. I can't hear you. I like penguins. Especially with tomato sauce. What? A song about a bear who loved honey so much he oh, got really? his nose caught in the jar. And this song is written by Mark Clark, and Mark Clark's here to perform it. Hey. One fine night when the stars were bright and the heifalumps go bump in the night. Winnie the Pooh had a thought. Piglet, he said, let's get a heifalump caught. So they put a jar of honey in the bottom of a pit. They were hoping that a heifalump would fall in it. That's the pit, not the jar. But Pooh was a greedy bear, and late that night he jumped down there. Pooh caught his head in the honey pot. He was licking up the honey at the bottom of the jar. Pooh caught his head in the honey pot, and he couldn't get it out, although he waggled it about because his head was in too far. Now Piglet came to the side of the pit. He thought he saw a heifalump caught in it. It looked like a jar with legs. It was running and screaming and bashing its head. So Piglet started running and sobbing. Whatever is the matter, said Christopher Robin. Help, help, he cried. A horrible hump, a, 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 a horrible horror lump. But really, Pooh caught his head in the honey pot. He was licking up the honey from the bottom of the jar. Pooh caught his head in the honey pot, and he couldn't get it out, although he waggled it about. No, he bashed it on the wall. He couldn't get it out at all because his head was in too far, see? 
Now, Christopher Robin said, I'll find out what this fuss is all about. So Piglet took him down. And yes, there was a thumping sound. But when they got to the side of the pit, he was seized with a laughing fit. Oh, Piglet, you fool, he said. That's only our Winnie with a jar on his head. Cos you see, Pooh caught his head in the honey pot. He was licking up the honey from the bottom of the jar. Pooh caught his head in the honey pot. He was licking up the honey from the bottom of the jar. Pooh caught his head in the honey pot. He was licking up the honey from the bottom of the jar. When Pooh caught his head in the honey pot. And he couldn't get it out, although he waggled it about. Though he bashed it on the wall, he couldn't get it out at all. And at last he bashed it on a tree and his head was finally free. But the honey pot was no more. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. Hit second, honey, but we'll be back.